My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to use the SOP PO number check tool in Dynamics GP. The SOP PO number check tool is part of a larger tool set called the Professional Services Tool Library, or PSTL for short. The PSTL is now a standard featured in GP that has many valuable tools that available to users that were used only by Microsoft support or your implementation partner before. Before using any of these tools, be sure that you are logged in as SA and make a backup of the company database, as some of these tools require one or the other or both. The SOP PO number check tool allows you to set up validation warnings and messages within the sales order process for duplicate PO numbers. To set up these options, we go to the PSTL menu and we click on SOP PO number check here, click on the radio button and then next. So now you see pretty much every step of the sales order process from quote to fulfillment order and everything in between. The first column is the check DB column and that pretty much means that asking whether or not you want to search the relevant document type. So for the first one, whether you want to search quotes uh, in, the ex in the database that you are currently logged in. The next, you have uh, the option to choose just work, tables, history, tables, or both. Then you have a checkbox here for check on UI. And this means when you enter a customer PO number on the user, user interface, is the document type important or not? So should we be concerned that it's a quote versus an invoice? Are you fine with duplicate PO numbers there? Um, then we have the required checkbox and is the customer PO number required or not? And then we have a couple, few different types of warnings. Um, it can be anything from do nothing to uh, warn and password. So if you want to have a password, you would just enter it here. Otherwise, you can have an ask ask a question or a rejection and the last field is this little empty line for the message below and as you can see down here uh, we have different symbols to pull different numbers from the document so percent one means it'll pull the PO number percent two the doc type right here and percent three the doc number so right here you see PO number percent one already exists for the customer on sales blank blank so the PO number would go here the doc type would go here and the doc and the uh, doc number would go right after the doc type once you are done setting you click OK then mark the checkbox next to the radio button when you are ready to activate the tool for more information please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.